Good evening, everybody. It's Steve with Real Progressives, and I am coming at you in refutation of yet somebody else who feels the need to sit there and try to act like a victim in one hand because people are upset that she's selling out, and on the other hand, flipping around and trying to tell everybody else, but you're voting for a spoiler. This kind of crap is the kind of crap, the kind of idiocy that we can see with the people that don't really have a core compass, that don't really have any kind of you know, direction. They don't understand what it is we're fighting for. Now, you can sit there and you can tell me point blank that you feel like this is the right way to go. And I'll respect that. I mean, I won't agree with you, but I'll respect it. What I don't respect is coming out, writing a rant, talking about how don't you dare complain to me and act self-righteous and blah, blah, blah. And don't you dare act like you're a better liberal than me because you're actually voting for a real progressive as opposed to voting for a centrist shill warmonger, okay? Don't sit there and tell me that, I, you, that you're better than me or you're more liberal than me and blah, 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 blah. Nobody cares about where you are on the liberal scale. We care about your morals and we care about what you're actually projecting out to the world. Some of us have something at stake in this election. Some of us have children. We don't want to die in wars. So some of us, we're not ideologically purity testing. We're fighting to keep people we love alive. Hell, we're even fighting for people we don't love to stay alive. This is not some sort of an ideological purity test. It really isn't. This is about right and wrong. Yes, black and white. There are no shades of gray with a lot of this. And when you don't understand that, and you feel like, I've got to go and write some sort of a big, huge um, uh, rant to, to make sure you people don't sit there and act self-righteous about me and, and whine about me, and don't whine about me. Folks, when my kids or lives are at stake, because you don't understand what the issues are, and you don't understand why we're voting for Jill Stein, we understand you think that's a spoiler. Well, I don't think it's a spoiler. I don't want Hillary Clinton in office. That's not a spoiler. That's I don't want a thief who stole an election who is a warmonger, who is a liar, who is a cheater, who is a snake, to sit there and for the next four to eight years co-opt the term progressive and screw us so that we don't have any shot in 2020 of running a progressive because the Democrats certainly aren't going to challenge a sitting president. Hell, they can't even take a stand against TPP because they don't want to hurt the feelings of a sitting president. So don't you dare talk about ideological purity testing. We're talking about function. We're talking about logic. We're talking about basic truths. And if that hurts your feelings, if that makes you feel sad, and it makes you feel like you need to put up some sort of silly rant about don't you dare, well, I'm here to dare. I'm here to make sure that people know there is an alternative to that kind of whiny nonsense that kind of horse shit, that, un, that just completely vapid waste stupidity. That stuff right there is the stuff that gets people killed. So as we're sitting here talking about what we're going to do, you can say it's about a spoiler. You can say it's about ideological purity testing, etc. I call it about protecting my sons, making sure that my kids don't die. You can call it childish. You can call it uh, babified. You can call it whatever you want. But I call you a sellout. I call you a coward. I call you a spineless, myopic twit. Whatever. It doesn't matter. You're nobody. At the end of the day, you're just one of another thousand sheep falling in line and trying to make anybody that's standing up trying to fight this fight out to be some sort of crazy person and shame on you for doing that.
You have an audience, you have a platform, and yet you're just going along to get along like you're doing something noble. What a waste. What a complete and utter waste. It's shameful. And you're damn right it's shameful. Wagging your finger at people, telling them they're supporting a spoiler. Let me tell you what I'm doing. I'm making sure that in 2020, that if you guys do manage to get the warmonger into the office, that in 2020 we have a viable third party with federal matching funds to unseat that war hawk. That's what I'm doing. You can call it ideological purity testing all you want. I'm trying to protect my children and I'm trying to protect our planet. Now even spineless people like yourself, even spineless people like yourself would stand up and fight for four years against Donald Trump. But I can see already, based on your rant, that you would sell out in the New York second if Hillary Clinton was in there. You would go along to get along because after all, there are conservatives in the world and there are liberals in the world and how dare you tell me that you're more liberal than me, blah, blah, blah. You'd go along with that crap and you're proving my point. You're a zombie. That crap isn't going to work. People are not going to stay out of war with zombies marching the planet. It takes people of conviction to actually make change. And what are you changing? Nothing. What do you have to be proud of? Nada. You've got a platform and you're squandering it, chastising people actually fighting for change. How cowardly, how worthless, how devoid of value. How vapid and vacuous and just disgusting. A spoiler? You obviously aren't paying attention. You should get out of writing politics and you should start focusing more on reading and listening to people who do care so that you know what's at stake. Because obviously you don't. The slut vote? Is that really what you call your page? The slut vote? Brilliant. Genius. It's shameful. I read that rant and I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? You mean to tell me that my son's life is an ideological purity test to you? You think that my son's life is an ideological purity test? That's what you think. That's a damn shame. You're not a progressive. And that's probably just fine with you. Obviously. Supporting Bernie probably felt edgy for a little while. There's people dying for your decision. And I call people that are supporting Clinton murderers by proxy. Because she's going to be lighting the world of fire. There's not going to be a single war out there that she doesn't find a way to try and get us into. And what are you going to do? What are you going to do? You're going to sit there and tell us not to be ideological, purity testing people? You're going to tell us being against war is ideological purity? That's disgusting. Completely devoid of merit. Cowardly. Disgusting. Shame on you. This is Steve with Real Progressives. Have a great night.